requesting to utilize the space at the monument on Saturday mornings from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m., or I'm sorry, 1 p.m., from mid-July to early November. Stand would consist of one or two tables and a freestanding tent to shield from the elements. It would not disrupt the sidewalk or the road. It would be selling organic vegetables, eggs, and possibly baked goods. So if it's uh, borough's desire to uh, permit that activity, then we should have a motion uh, to approve uh, Christy and Brett Lawler to conduct a um, farmer's market at the monument on Saturday mornings from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. from mid-July to early November. Two, two questions that I have here, Sam. Let's we'll see if we can get a motion in a second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Discuss. Yeah, Anybody yeah. want to make a motion on that? I'll make a motion. I right, have a second. Second. All right. Okay, my, my thoughts are twofold on this. First of all, I think it's a great idea. But I was I was approached by the, the people with the senior citizen high rise last year, last fall, I believe it was, to, to, to try to, the same thought to get somebody, some type of a, a, a farmer's market, possibly down at the field that would enable that a section of the field that would enable them, the hundred and some people that live in there, to have some access to going down there and buying vegetables and so forth without having to make uh, uh, arrangements with access or what have you. I said that I would look into it. Quite frankly, I didn't know where to look. This, this letter came down. This is wonderful, I think. But uh, I, I would like the council to consider passing this thing. Uh, in, in make part of the, the, the uh, motion that to, uh, the, uh, the location to be decided on through council members, through elected officials, and the, 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 the Lawler family. And possibly we could work that thing out down in the field that would enable the senior citizens to do that. The other thing that we do have, we have to find out too when the exact times that the, uh, that the uh, Presbyterian Church has a flower sale, and if we allow it at the monument, we would have to we would have to extract okay. that time from that to tell them they could not operate within that that framework mm -hmm. because they've been doing that for years. That's right before Mother's Day, so the two don't conflict. They don't conflict. They don't. Okay. okay. But I just let that. <laughs> did uh, Did you talk to them, Sherry, or did you talk to them? No. Sure. I was curious if they needed a sure. Main Street location. And I, I kind of I thought the field that was my first thought was the field might be a better option for them. Uh, less because uh, you know the possibility exists you could have some traffic headaches on that corner. It's yellow line now. Of course we look the other way. Yeah, there's there. no parking yeah. to speak of there and then you have the businesses there. I mean it would be good for the business. To draw people into town, but you know, then they just buy up all the parking that's available for those businesses. So, six and one half dozen the other there. The field would be a great location. What did, did you speak to them about that at all? I, I wasn't able to get in touch with them about the field. We just got this letter about a week ago. Um, so, I, I can approach them with having it in the field. I think they're guys was to be on a major ad and it well once these farmers markets get known about I mean mm -hmm. people will go wherever they put them mm -hmm. they used to go over to the zoo uh, from their parking lot and they sit in traffic trying to get around through that parking lot for half an hour before they could even get a place to park so uh, people like those so that might be the place to do it though would they be willing to split time? Like have a week or two up on the street to get get known and then move it Oh, put at least one or two weeks down at the field so the, the high rise people can down every other week and then Yeah, maybe every other week they can have it at the different places. I will I could certainly talk to them and see what uh, I, I would like to uh, rephrase the motion. Why don't we hold up on approval until Sherry talks with you? I think they want 
to start in July. In July. I, I would be interested in giving them approval, uh, you know, based on whether they can do it in other places, you know, alternatingly, or once they get it established up here, because if they really get a, a good business going, there's going to be parking issues. So if all of a sudden they have to move down to the field, then there could be more than one good reason well, to why, do that. Why don't we change the motion then to, to approve the farmer's market on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. from mid-July to early November, subject to negotiation of the site between the lawyers and the firm. Bingo. Is this a good any work I'll, uh, I'll amend my motion. All right. We we'll still have a second. We have a second to amend. Okay. Any other questions? Well, we would need a vote on the motion as amended. All right. Scott? Yes. Um, Denny? Yes. Katie? Yes. Beth? Yes. Randy? Yes. Sam? Yes. All in favor? Motion carries. I will contact the Lala family on Wednesday when I return. Okay. Uh, anything else under new business? Okay. Other public comment? Okay, now's the time for anybody who wishes to uh, make a public comment on any item related to the borough of Bonox. Uh, once again, if you please state your name and address and limit your comments to three minutes. Let's start the first row. Yes, uh, Laura Wright, 282, Newport Road, uh, down on uh, I just have some questions that, that maybe Mr. Cavix could have to help us with about resolutions in general. One has to do with, with the placement uh, under new business of a resolution uh, passed without notification that we could comment on it in advance because there there's no listing here that, that it was going to be discussed tonight. And I just I wonder if in the future I if there is a resolution in uh, and naturally if you want to make a comment on that, that that was the condition of use. We did have a public hearing on it. I thought most everybody who was going to comment was going to comment on it. But uh, your point's well taken in. Well, I think, I think it's just that, that uh, the statement was also made at that time that the public would have an opportunity to comment as it was being passed at the, at the council meeting. And I don't know whether people had comments, but I just thought procedurally. The second had to do with, with following resolutions that the council themselves has passed in the past. I understand that there was some problem with sign-ins of people who wanted to take uh, or record the meetings and that they were not allowed to do that prior to the meeting, and I just wondered could you give us some clarification about whether indeed you intend to follow your own resolution that says people can have an opportunity to sign in before the meeting so that they could take or, or record the meeting? Yeah, as long as they, uh, my understanding of the issue was that individuals were not complying with the resolution and signing in using fictitious names and that sort of thing. Well, I, can, I think that you're... You know, that that's very legitimate, that they should sign in who they are. But I also understand that the list was pulled prior to the meeting started, starting and the person was attempted to be excluded. If that's the case, I think that that, uh, that, that really is in violation of what you agreed with uh, the ACLU on I looked at in the terms of, of yeah. giving people a chance to sign in on the day that the meeting was here. Well, we give them up until 6.30. Okay. And, uh, so my understanding was the uh, login sheet was picked up at that point in time prior to the start of the meeting, which you have to do. And um, there was no indication on there of a fictitious name. There was discussion. And that individual was not permitted to take the meeting or signing the fictitious name. Okay. Or, or take the meeting anyway. Okay. Is that true of agenda meetings as well? Yes. Okay. So that the reason that she couldn't take last time was she signed in a fictitious name? That's my understanding. Time? Yes. Okay. <coughs> So what would solve the problem is to give the correct name of the party. If they give the correct name of the party and they come up and um, sign in the sheet correctly, fill in the information correctly, and that was the reason why they were not permitted to take. Another reason why there was some discussion is because the individual was asked, was she taping? She indicated no and taped it anyway. 